and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, to, do, to set up the tracking on specific URLs, for example, say I'm, I'm putting uh, my Empowered MLM Marketer, my affiliate, uh, I mean my capture page for Empowered MLM Marketer uh, into Facebook, I want to use a specific link with everything I do with Facebook, and then I use a different link for everything I do with Twitter and, and so forth. So each each way each um, marketing avenue will have a different link, and uh, I'll be able to you know to keep up with where my links are coming from exactly. So what we want to do to to create those different links is go to a site called Bitly, b i t dot l y, and this is a free site and it allows you to set up short links that are you know specific to the, the website you're putting them on and what I mean by that is for example uh, whatever your business is or if it's your empowered MLM marketer um, affiliate page we want to type in the, the URL and when you do that you can come over here and uh, just click um, click shorten okay and that's going to give you a specific link okay and we're gonna be able to do this over and over and over again for that same URL I typed in here for your same business but it gives you a different link for each one and you click copy and then you go to uh, wherever you set up your forwarding URL for your your business um, so if you if you um, you know got a forwarding URL for Empowered MLM Marketer your affiliate page uh, I use GoDaddy, so I'll, I'll go into GoDaddy and show you how to set this up. Most people use GoDaddy, so let's click on that. Uh, so you want to go to wherever you set that domain up, and uh, if you don't have one, uh, you know it's a good idea to get you a, 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 your own URL, and um, you can forward it to your capture pages, and and that way you have control of that of that domain name. That way, uh, you know, for some reason you change capture pages or you want that domain name to go to a different place to a different capture page you just come in here and change the forwarding URL um, so what what you want to do here is click on if you don't have one just go to GoDaddy and for ten dollars a year you can get your own domain uh, I figure most people probably probably have one but if you don't just go to GoDaddy and get that and then once you get that domain name you can come into GoDaddy click on your domains and uh, it's the one I use right here um, you come in, you click on the domain you got. You know, one second here, and, and this is going to take you in here. Uh, and if you scroll down, you'll see forward subdomains, and that's what we want. We want to create a subdomain for each place we're marketing. So I got one for uh, Craigslist, I got one for Facebook, I got one for uh, Friendster, and, and I got a bunch of other ones down through there for MySpace and, and all the different places. So, so let's look here back at Bitly real quick. All right, so I've gotten my Bitly URL for Empowered MLM Marketer. I want to, I, I clicked copy, so now I got it copied. So I want to go back over here and create a subdomain. And let's say, for example, I'm going to put this URL. I want to track all my activity coming from Twitter. Okay, so I'm going to click Add Subdomain. And this is going to be my Twitter subdomain. Give it a second, and then it comes up. This is where you put. You want you want this subdomain to forward to this Bitly URL, okay? And Bitly knows whenever something comes to this URL to send it to the link you put in at the top here. This link here, the the Empowered MLM Marketer that I typed up here, it knows to forward that to that. So basically, it's just routing uh, that link through Bitly to track it. And what you want to do with your subdomain is I put something referring to where the subdomain is going to be posted. So if I'm putting it on Twitter, I might put just put TW, something like that. So my URL that I'm putting all over Twitter is going to be tw.empoweredmlmmarketing.com. And then that's going to forward to the Bitly URL, which then again forwards to my capture page, empoweredmlmmarketer.com. So now it's being it's going to be tracked and they're going to count those those um, those those clicks. Now what you want to do is get into advanced options, mask forwarding, and in that top field, the title, put the URL that you chose to forward to. It's going to make it a little bit easier for you to keep up with. I know this is, can be very confusing at the first time, but if you just follow this step by step, uh, it starts getting a lot easier to, to go through. So if I if I do that right there. 
and I click OK. And you have to, you know, give it 15, 20 minutes for GoDaddy to, to get it all set up. Okay, so you're done. All right, so we get out of that. We go back to Bitly. Now, Bitly here, if we just refresh the screen. All right. We got to give it a second for that forwarding URL set up. And when when GoDaddy gets done setting up uh, that that subdomain we just did for for Twitter, um, let's see, let's see where I got it. Just make sure it's in here. Scroll back down. So um, TW. Okay, so TW is in there. When it when it updates on the internet and GoDaddy updates it. Right here, it's going to say uh, what I get, the title I gave it. That's going to say EmpoweredMLMMarketer.com. And anytime somebody clicks on that URL, I'm going to be able to go in and check and see where it came from. For example, here's one that I set up. Um, and that's why I tell you to type in the URL as the title, because if you don't, it, it, whatever you put in that title goes across here and it makes it kind of hard to track these. So you want to make sure on, on GoDaddy, when you're setting these up, that you type in the URL and that subdomain's title. And that way it'll post right here. But uh, here's, here's what it does. You go in here, you click Info. And then you can go down through here. And you can see this is giving me uh, right now minute by minute clicks on my URL. So, you know, I've had four, actually, that's two. So I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clicks here in the past hour uh, on that, that URL. And then here's what I really like you can click on refers and it tells you where everything's coming from. Okay. So, right now, all those clicks I just got came from my Yahoo, uh, Yahoo advertising and uh, marketing. And I can do uh, past month, and I only set this up a few days ago. So I've gotten 20 clicks from, you know, just IMs, emails going out, autoresponders, uh, Skype. I ran my Skype program the other day. I got six clicks there. Those two just that means when it says Bitly, that means that you actually clicked on it yourself within this account. So that doesn't really count towards your your um, opt-ins and then I got one from one of my articles somewhere you know article dot C so I know that my articles produced one and I got two here and I got a I got 20 and then it says 209 uh, through the different like my Yahoo um, Yahoo social network uh, the uh, pay-per-click I do in Yahoo that kind of stuff uh, so that gives you a good idea of where those clicks came from I just set this up the other day so um yeah, I got to get them, get it all posted through my other social networks. But um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you just kind of walk through it again, I'll, I'll say it, uh, kind of just highlight it. Punch in the URL, your capture pages. Um, uh, I mean, the the forwarding URL that you're using for your capture page. So you might get EmpoweredMarketer.com or whatever it is, or and put it in here. And then when you shorten it, uh, you'll take that. You'll take that shortened URL and put it in the domain manager. And now that new subdomain you created is going to forward uh, everything through that bit.ly tracking. And then down here, you'll be able to see your clicks for the different URLs you got. So it tells you on the side there, you just click info and you can go in and see where each one's posting. Just make sure in the title of the subdomain, you put the URL again the main URL that you're forwarding everything to and it makes it easier to track because these descriptions make it I have to mouse over see if I mouse over then it gives me the URL I just assume be able to see it without having to mouse over so it just saves you a lot of time so these are different websites these are forwarding to so um, so anyway that's it in a nutshell play around with it and uh, it's, it's probably a good idea to set this up first and one for each place you're going to be marketing and, uh, and that way you can um, that way you can keep up with uh, where all your traffic's coming from. All right? All right, we'll see you on the next one.